Oh, she's so mad. She wants to eat me, I know. But I'm Polly to punch with. I'm the mother of dinos. And you will be mine soon, big girl. And so, Paulina Punchwood, the heroine of our story, mother of dinos, friend of the apes, constructor of cozy cottages, and all around dynamite gal, <laughs> did decide it was time to make peace with her Spinosaurus neighbor. Howdy, neighbor! <laughs> Hello down there! <laughs> And figured it was time, let's give her away, figured it was time to tame her and bring her aboard. Seeing that uh, Paulina Punchwood here is the mother of dinos after all. And that Spino's getting awfully close. And she's running out of things to eat. And I don't like the way she's looking at us. So little Miss Spino down here leaves Paulina Punchwood, mother of dinos, a uh, little choice in the matter. We're just going to have to go down and tame her. Because see what she does? She runs out of food down by the river, and then she wanders up this ramp and uh, looks for more food up here, and that's when Paulina has to get involved by drawing her away with Donnie to the other side of the river. She apparently does not respect private property. Or maybe she just can't read English. I don't know. So here's what we're going to do. I want to shoot her with my crossbow and put her down. It's going to take somewhere between 20 and, like, I don't know, 50 uh, tranks. So I think after the first shot, she's going to start chasing. She's going to come up here and start uh, running after me, right? So we need a way to block her. So I'm going to build a wall right here, stone wall. And, of course, I want a stone wall around Cozy Cottage eventually anyway, so this isn't a waste. But it will slow her down at least so I can shoot her a few times. And I think I'm going to need to learn stone fence foundation right and I hate to spend these engrams on building but it's necessary it's necessary evil my friends I'm gonna need the gateway and that's a little gateway though she won't be able to fit through that one but I think we're just gonna have to well, here's the gigantic one it's 12 let's just do the small one first and see how that looks and we can modify it later so, all right, we've got uh, the gangs all here carrying my supplies. We have collected lots of stone and wood and thatch for this. Um, I know it wasn't very fun, was it? It was kind of a grind. Yeah, that's how I think about the grind myself. Um, we're, in, we're, we're definitely of the same mind there, Mighty Joe. So let's go ahead and make up some stone fence. I'm going to run the wall directly from that cliff face there in a straight line to that cliff over there. So that way, Miss Ms. Finnegan down here won't be able to climb around the wall. I don't think, anyway. So we're just going to have to find out. So that's only four, huh? E-gads. Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you don't want to collect more, and I don't want to either, but we just might have to. Okay, let me go ahead and make... Thinking about... Maybe 10 of these fence post foundations. Ugh. Give me some of that wood. Mighty Joe. Give me some of that wood. <laughs> hey, who is that? The flung poos are giggling about that one. Mm -hmm. can't, you can't say wood around here without somebody giggling. <laughs> Including me. All right. Anywho. Let's keep it PG rated here. Paulina. That's 10 fence thingy me jiggers and let's go ahead and put those They're already in a slot but I can't see them there they are go all the way to the end and see if this is going to work I have no idea all right it's gonna go straight across it shouldn't be too difficult semi straight anyway as long as they're attached and I hope the wall goes up the right way because Still having some uh, difficulty trying to get the wall to face the proper way. And believe me, I'm trying every angle, inside, outside, upside down, standing on my head, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't make a difference. Sometimes it just seems like it just has a mind of its own. A hey, bush! Beat it! <laughs> Pull this right up! Jeepers, crow, get those roots! You too! I can't see a dang thing. All right. That's all of it, right? Yeah. 
All right, Ms. Uh, Ms. Finnegan, sale. Miss Sally Finnegan is still on the other side, which is fantastic. That'll be her name, Miss Sally Finnegan. Until she gets married, and then she'll be um, Mrs. Finnegan. And we're gonna have to get a male, so we get the male boost bonus, right? She is a level 19 female, and she's a beautiful specimen. She's been my neighbor for a long, long time. Um, let's go ahead and make up some walls. Oh my gosh, wow, that went fast, didn't it? I think that gate is like 200 stone. I do have more stone collected, I just have to go get it. Could only carry so much on these two guys. <laughs> Joe, come here! Now, unfortunately, Ms. Spino here is going to wreck this wall, or there's parts of it, I would think, but, you know, the, the idea here, the plan, my theory, is it'll slow her down long enough so that I can uh, fill her up with some trank arrows. And these are going the right direction. Woohoo! We wanted the frame on the inside toward the yard. Now, how big is the big gate going to be? Maybe I should make the gate and see. It's going to have to go right, like, right in the center, right? Hello! Who are you, anyway? Oh, Mo Slash, how you doing, buddy? Been a while. Turn off the engine! Thank you. You waste gas that way. Oh, look at all this good rock up here. Whew! Can I make the thing right here, then? Yeah, let's just make it right here, then. Big stone gateway. This actually weighs less as a stone. Whoa, yeah! I like it. Uh... Anima, 40, let's just go 42. Let's load you up with some of these stones, man. Yeah, look, it's only four pounds after it's been crafted. I mean, how awesome is that? I've got the big gateway here. Now I need to make a door for it. A big old door that goes inside of it. So I've got the, the wooden door here. Um, I know I can learn reinforce door, but I don't think it's necessary here. So we're not going to get too many predators coming around, knocking on our walls. And if we do, they're going to be in for a big surprise. Lots of big surprises, huh, Mighty Joe? Uh, yes, indeed. So I think the regular door will be fine. Look at the gates, that is. And doors. There we go. I got it on right, Joe. What do you think? Ha-ha! That's right. And the gateway in. I mean, the gate. Lovely. And how about... Should we put a window here? Yeah, let's put a window next to it. I have a window next to it on this side? I do! Yeah, now we can see if there's someone here. We'll be like, hey, who is it? When we get a knock, we'll be like, show yourself. And then I have uh, a door for this one. Boom. Super. Nice! Unfortunately, it might just get knocked down. She can probably walk right over this thing, can't she? I, I probably should make it double high. I bet she can. And you're all laughing at me right now thinking, you're a fool. She's going to walk right over it. So I could make it double high, but maybe she'll focus on this. No. Probably not, huh? He's <laughs> like, yeah, right. Wishful thinking, dude. And another one over here. This is working out pretty good, actually. I really like it. And then one final wall here. Okay. Sort of, kind of, sort of evenly distributed. And hopefully she focuses on the gate. Um, and she can't get through that either, so she's going to have to tear the whole thing down, not just the door. Right? All right, I want everybody out of here. All right, let me get prepared for this, guys. I'm going to go find my crossbow and my darts. And we'll carry you. And I want you... Oh, that's you. Getting all tough and everything. Come on. So I'm just going to get prepared and I'll be right back. Well, guys, Paulina is ready to give birth to her largest baby yet. Miss Finn. Miss Sally Finn. <laughs> Unfortunately, the sun is now going down and we're just going to wait till the morning. Is that rain too? And I think it's raining as well. So let's uh, let's head inside, and we'll take a quick nap, wait for the sun to come up, and then we'll uh, 
We'll get this job done. All right, guys. Pauline is now in Cozy Cottage cooking her first meal and getting ready to spend her first night here. So exciting! And then at first light, uh, we'll head out <laughs> and Pauline is going to give birth to her biggest baby yet. There she is. Look at her out there. Can't wait. All right, Paulina. Got some rest, girls. Gonna be a big day tomorrow. Boom. Oh, 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 get up, Paulina. That's the alarm. Rise and shine. Mother of dinos. Let's go get that big old spino. What do you say? But before we go, let's have, uh, how about some breakfast? Mmm. And some coffee. Uh, who made, did you guys make the coffee this morning? Anybody put the coffee on? There's one thing that this game is missing, and that is coffee. <laughs> it would be pretty awesome to find coffee beans, and then maybe uh, grow your own or something. Bring them back, and make a farm, and then um, and then brew some up. That would be awesome. Now, by the way, I did have some prime meat for this process, but it all spoiled. It doesn't last very long. Even in the preserving bin, it only lasts like 20 minutes. Um, and that was well before I started on the wall, so... Oh well, I guess uh, we'll just have to go with regular old meat for this spino. And I think I'm going to put Paulina's armor on her. Just in case things go sour and we have to make a run for it. If she takes a couple of bites, she won't get killed too easily. <laughs> Might be able to make it back to safety. You might have to put her down, huh? Should I bring one of you little guys? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. How about we bring, uh... Let's bring who? Who flung poo? Let's bring who flung poo because he can fling poo at the spino and slow it down. Okay, here goes nothing. We're gonna get in close with Donnie. We're gonna shoot a couple of times, maybe up here from this ledge. It will kind of lead her around a little bit. Then maybe if we can get her closer to the wall. Now, I don't know what kind of range these things have. And here we go, my friends. This is it. Spinosaurus. Ms. Sally Finn. You will be mine. Mother of dinos. Um, okay, good. I missed. <laughs> I guess it doesn't have that kind of range. Oh, I got it that time. You see it right in the butt. Come on, big girl. There's another one, and she's coming right up the hill. Oh. Okay, we'll do it right here then. That's fine. That's how you want it. Give it a few seconds, let the trank do its thing, and I have lots of trank arrows here, guys, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, this is amazing. All right, we don't even have to use our wall. Oh, she's so mad. She wants to eat me, I know. But I'm pulling a punch with her, the mother of dinos. And you will be mine soon, big girl. Just fall. It'll be easier for everybody. Just lean over and take a nap. Oh, there she goes. Good. All right, Donnie, let's go, 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 go. Ooh, put the gun away. All right, she's down and out. Let's get... Oh, no. Oh, I don't like the way that looks. That looks really bad. I can't get to her beautiful face. What? What? No, she's still out. Please be out. She's still out. Oh, dang. Donnie! Oh, it's on you. I need it quickly. What am I doing? Better not be attacked by any stinking dialos or anything over here, because that would be really upsetting. All right, well, she's got uh, she's got lots of torpor right now, so that's not a problem. There you go. Have some meats. Eat up. 870 health. She's looking mighty fine. Look at her head right in that rock. <clears throat> I can't even get up there. All right, I'm going to go get some guardians to cover her. I don't see any predators around right now, but we don't want anyone to come over and start chewing on her. Oh man, she's right in that rock. That's too bad that she clipped in like that. I would like to see her face eat some of that food. Alright, settle down. And now I want you to get over here. Get over here, Mo. Alright, stay. You guys should be on neutral, not passive. Top, actually. Can you get up there? There's 
I don't know where that head is, and I'm afraid that Thyla might come around biting on her head. I really wish I could see your head. Taming's going pretty well so far. We've got about maybe 15%, 10%. <laughs> Oh, boy, that Torpor is dropping very fast, isn't it? I'm going to need more than this. She is enormous! Oh, great, great. I'm pulling fibers out of her butt. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, we're going to have to go get lots more meat. In fact, let's put all the meat on her that you have. Um, oh, it's on the other one. Dang it. Looks like we're going to be here a while, guys. So, I might go off and do some other things. Like, maybe go kill some Megalodons and get some raw prime meat. Alright, guys. Not making a whole lot of progress here. We're maybe 20%. And I'm blowing through narcotics. At a very fast rate. I didn't see any Megalodons. I did a quick flyover. On the beach. Didn't see a single one. I'm not sure what's going on there. I did kill a lot a couple days ago. So maybe uh, maybe I'll go look for some Stegos nearby. They give a pretty good amount as well. But I think the Megalodons give most, like a 7 or 8 or something per kill. Um, but I think I'm going to grab Gizmo and, uh, and Casper for this. Guys, this is super tricky. Because I can't travel too far away from Spino because her torpor is dropping so rapidly and I've got to keep coming back here and giving her new doses of narco. Oh, there's a stego right over there in the woods. Didn't even see it. We'll go get it. Let's go get it. Oh, gee. I'm throwing my, chucking my monkey at the Spinosaurus. Come back over here, you. Man, I'm sorry. What are you doing in there? Well, how did you get under there? I don't know if you want to stay down there, little fella. This big girl wakes up. She might turn you into a little appetizer. I think that's funny, huh? It won't be when you're stuck in her teeth. Alright, let's go get this stego and get some raw prime meats. For Ms. Finn. Hopefully we can cut this taming time down considerably. All right, there we go. Two prime meats from that Stegosaurus. Not great, but it's better than nothing. Okay, guys, we are at maybe 30% tamed so far. It's been 20 minutes to half an hour. And a worst case scenario for Paulina here, since she's at three times the taming speed, um, using raw, regular raw meat and not prime is somewhere around maybe an hour and a half at this level. Level 20 or so Spinosaurus should take about three to four hours at uh, normal t taming speed. So the accelerated speed is going to help out quite a bit. But that prime meat is really, is really going to help cut that time um, in half essentially. But we need to find some more. Stegosauruses or something else that's tasty. You know what? I know where there's a lot of stegos. Uh, now let's go up this way. Uh oh. Gonna be dark here soon, guys. Sun's going down. We've been at this all night. Let's get some, uh, let's get some torches put out. And do I have any thatch? A little bit. I'm gonna have to collect some more. Let's start getting cold here and dark any second. Now, something I didn't realize is that I could just spam these narco doses like this. I was giving them one at a time and then waiting for the uh, waiting for the torpor to rise and then start falling again before I gave another dose. But I don't think you have to do that. It goes into some sort of queue and then it adds up. All the math ends up working in the end. It's just math. There are three kinds of people in this world, Miss Finn. Those that can count and those that can't. Hey guys, still out hunting stegos, and I have discovered the best way to do this is to take Donnie with Gizmo following. Let Giz kill, get the meat, and then transfer it to Donnie and race it back to Spino. 
the raw prime meat. How much did you get? How much did you get? Just one. Wow, what a difference that prime meat makes, huh? That's awesome. Okay, let's um, let's give her another dose of this. So one thing I did notice that if I if I queue up a bunch of narcotics, then she doesn't eat, and then the taming goes down. So that is a consideration. Holy mackerel! Look what just popped out of Miss Finn. It's a gigantic egg. It's enormous. All right, well, I guess everybody's given birth today. <laughs> Paulina, the mother of dinos, is having a very large baby. And even the baby is having babies. Craziness. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, we're almost there. So I just came back with a new batch of narcotic. Let's throw some of that in there. We've got plenty of raw meat here, but no more prime meat. And we also leveled up. So close. Now, the, the worst part of this, the, at least the saddest part of all this, is that I'm not even going to be able to ride Ms. Finn here. Because I can't make the saddle until level 60. So, that's kind of a shame. Pauline is going to need some time off after this. I'm going to have to take uh, maternity leave. A nice, long maternity leave for the mother of dinos. Unfortunately... She doesn't have that luxury because while we're here giving birth to Ms. Finn, all of her crops are dying. The kids are probably starving to death. <gasps> Whoa, did you hear that? Wow, you have tamed a Spinosaurus. Yeah, we did it. All right, now Pauline can get back to work. Like I said, everybody else is dying off because I haven't, I've been neglecting them all. We'll call you Ms. Finn, Ms. Sally Finn. Ms. Sally Finn, like sail fin, get it? Because she got the big sail fin? Yeah, I thought of that all by myself. Whoa! You're beautiful! Pooh, are you okay down there? You? He's alright. Here, give you a little more health. Look at her. Can I, get, get on my shoulder, would you? You got squished. <laughs> alright, let's get you over here. Come here. Follow me. Come talk to your new mama. We're going to be neighbors and friends and all that, and I am your mama. You are absolutely gigantic. I mean, look at her next to Giz. He's like almost twice as big as you, Giz. Look at this. Wow. She's awesome. Oh, I love her so much, but I, I can't ride you, girl, just yet because I don't have a saddle. I don't know how to make a saddle for you. All right, everybody stay right here. Um, I'm going to have just you follow. Hop in the water where I can see you from Cozy Cottage. Come on, come swoon with Mama. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Oh, you're great. All right, it's cold in here. Mama's going to climb out if you don't mind. All right, stay right there. Stay right there. You play in the water, okay? All right, and I'm going to make sure you have some food. Oh, you got lots of food. But I'm going to take my drugs back. And I think with that, my friends, we are going to call it quits. Gosh, she's great. Level 26. Look at her. Ms. Sally Finn. All right, excellent. All right, the rest of you, come with me. I'm going to bring everybody back up to Cozy Cottage. And call it a night. And I, I apologize that this took so long. It might have been a little bit um, incoherent at times. I got a little frustrated here and there. <laughs> but we managed. Giving birth to Spinosaurus ain't easy, you know. I don't care what people say. And boom. All right, now Mama's going to go to bed. Mom is going to have a maternity leave right now for a few days, but like I said, I don't know if she has that luxury. We better go check on the crops, honestly. And make sure everybody has food, but I think that can at least wait till morning. Okay. Off my back, monkey. <laughs> oh, really? You're supposed to be pooping on the poop deck. Jerk. All right, where is she? Oh, there she is. Can't see her from the window, but we can see her from the deck. Howdy, neighbor! 
<laughs> Let's give her a wave. <laughs> oh, she's sweet, isn't she? Miss Sally Finn. Alright, guys. With that, I am going to call it quits. Pauline's going to get to bed immediately. She's about to pass out on her feet and climb into bed and let's take a nap. Oh, what I tell you? She's out. Out cold. Alright, see you next time. Bye-bye.